wide interwebs. I hope everyone had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, uh, being safe, being healthy, but having some fun with family and friends as opportunity allows as well. Anyhow, my name is Seth Keibel. With me today are the fabulous musicians of Bay Jazz Project, in no particular order. Over there on the piano, Sean Lane. Please, please, hold your applause till the end. On the double bass, Mr. Bob Abbott. And behind me, well over six feet behind me, on drums, Mr. Wes Crawford. Yeah. Now look. No one would rather play for you live more than us. We can't wait until we can play in front of live, real audiences in the flesh. But we know that can't happen yet. Uh, so this is the next best thing. And thanks to the good folks of Blue House Productions here in Kensington, Maryland, for making that possible. But there are a few advantages to this sort of event. Uh, first of all, you can, uh, you can dance as much as you like while listening to us, and no one will disapprove of your dancing ability or lack of thereof. Uh, you can throw things at us, at your computer monitor, uh, should our music displease you. You can sing along at the top of your lungs, and the only people you're going to annoy are those loved ones with whom you're quarantined. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the concert. We're going to play a variety of music for you. And look, one final thing. We want to ask for your help. If you are fortunate enough to have a degree of financial security these days, we would love if you can make a donation uh, to support both these wonderful musicians and this wonderful virtual concert series. There should be information pinned on the Facebook post or the YouTube page with PayPal and Venmo addresses. Now look, I know a lot of people are stretched pretty thin financially these days. If you are hurting, please don't give us any money. But what you can do instead is you can like, comment, and most importantly, share this live stream. Share it to all your friends, all your enemies, all your friends' enemies, everyone you went to middle school with, all your bunkmates from summer camp. They all want to see this concert. So please go ahead and share it now. Okay, enough of my yak, and we're going to continue with a nice bossa nova. Weather's getting nice and warm and steamy out there, so it makes me think of uh, a bossa nova type weather. This is a, a less common one by the great bossa nova composer, Antonio Carlos Jobim. This is called Gingy.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, keep those likes, comments, and shares coming. In fact, make some of those hearts and some of those thumbs up and some of those bears strangling a heart. Make them rise up from the floor to the ceiling. Here we go. Here we go. I'll try to catch some. Send them up. Okay, now, now I want everyone to send angry faces. Send angry faces flying up to the ceiling. I thrive off your rage. I hope I got a few there. Uh, I'm getting the looks from the fellas that I get on our live gigs, too. <laughs> All right. We're going to continue now with a staple of our live performances, a classic from the Yiddish theater that was turned into a worldwide hit by the Andrews sisters. This is by Mirabis Duchesne. Again, if you're just joining us, we are Bay Jazz Project. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. If you are a millionaire, please see fit to give a little donation to support these wonderful musicians and this wonderful concert series. If you are not a millionaire, just hit like, share, uh, comment, all that good stuff. Help us in our never-ending battle against obscurity and irrelevance.
for us to play in a completely empty room, but we've been training for this our entire careers. <laughs> oh, but now, okay, so this room is empty, but I do want to give a shout out for the two masked gentlemen over beyond the glass in the control room making this all happen for us. We got Jeff Gruber and Daniel Mears of Blue House Productions. They've been putting on this wonderful quarantine concert series uh, since this all began. Make sure you check them out. The next one, I think, is on May 31st, the Eric Bird Trio. Uh, so tune back in. If you haven't already liked the COVID sessions, the co-video sessions, as I like to think of it, on Facebook, uh, make sure to like that page. Uh, and if you can, you know, I'm not monitoring the chat now, so I can't see everything, but I will go back and look. Please let us know where you're watching from. Uh, one of the neat things about these kind of concerts is now we're not just performing for people who live in our little neck of the woods. We're playing for people all around the world and galaxy. So we'd like to know where you live. You can just do city and state, but if you want to get more specific, include your home address and any days of the week and specific hours when you're usually not at home. Okay, we're going to continue now with an original composition by Mr. Sean Lane. In fact, I think this is recorded on one of the CDs. Uh, is it Crying Sky Blue? Yes, Bay Jazz Project, Crying Sky Blue. We're all on it. And this is a tune Sean wrote called Stormin' Norman.
Sean Lane. For those of you just joining us, my name is Seth Kybel. For those of you who have been watching since the onset, my name is still Seth Kybel. With me tonight are the fabulous members of Bay Jazz Project, in no particular order. Originally from Roanoke, Virginia. Or is it Blacksburg? Blacksburg. It's whatever I say, he always says the opposite. So tonight it's Blacksburg, Virginia. Mr. Wes Crawford. Send some little hearts flying up to the ceiling for Wes. Behind me on the base, originally from the vast, untamed wilderness of Delaware, Mr. Bob, 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 Bob. Abbott, 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 Abbott. Yes. All right, and then over here on the piano, from the cultural metropolis of Schenectady, New York, yes, give it up for Mr. Sean Lane. So look. We're all professional musicians, or were, <laughs> in the Washington greater metropolitan area. Uh, so as such, we always like to support and promote the single greatest thing to ever come out of our nation's capital, which is Mr. Edward Kennedy Ellington, better known as Duke Ellington. A gazillion great Duke Ellington tunes to play, and we know them all. <laughs> But we're only going to play one right now. Uh, this is an earlier tune of his, beautiful melody called Mood Indigo. If you are quarantined with a loved one, you can grab them close and dance right now. If not, just grab your electronic device close.
Thank you. So here's what I'd like everyone on Facebook to do right now. Hit the crying face, the little tear uh, emoticon thing. Send lots of crying faces sending up to the ceiling so that anyone who tunes in right now will think we just played the most moving piece of music imaginable that drove all of you instantly to tears. Send them on up. Excellent. And don't forget, please, if you can, share this stream. Uh, the more faces and ears we can get in front of, uh, the more it gives our life meaning. <laughs> so on a more serious note, of course, today is Memorial Day. And it's very easy with everything that's going on to kind of forget that it's Memorial Day and forget about the meaning and significance of this day. We don't want to do that. So we're going to dedicate this next song to all the heroes who have served our country, past and present. And we hope every veteran out there is having a meaningful and spiritually rewarding Memorial Day. And we thank you all for your service. So in their honor, we're going to play one of my favorite unofficial national anthems this country has. We have a lot of unofficial national anthems. Uh, but this one is one of my favorites, written by the great Woody Guthrie. This is This Land is Your Land. And again, if you know the words, feel free to sing along at home. If you don't know the words, sing along anyway. We can't hear you.
ladies and gentlemen, if there is one thing that's going to get us through this crisis, it's going to be listening to the experts, doing what they tell us, practicing social distancing, washing hands, quarantining when possible and when necessary, and most importantly, uh, just staying on top of the recommendations of those who have made the study of these types of pandemics, their life's calling. But if there's two things that are going to get us through this crisis, it's that and alcohol. So in that spirit, we're going to dedicate this next song to alcohol. Okay, this is the part of the song where normally, as part of my shtick, I would go up and actually play this bass part on Bob's bass. Uh, but we have decided, due to an abundance of caution, that might not be advisable this evening.
right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. We got a lot more music for you, so stick around, keep those likes, and especially those shares coming. The more you can help us spread the word on the worldwide interwebs, uh, we really do appreciate it from the bottom of our cold, dead musician hearts. Thank you. So look. Uh, we're going to do now a beautiful ballad uh, that's arguably one of the most beautiful melodies ever written. Uh, I'm not the only person to say that. This song is uh, Hoagie Carmichael's classic, Stardust. And we'd like to dedicate this beautiful melody to all those beautiful people out there who have been working to get us through this crisis. That's a long list. I'm talking, of course, about the medical professionals, the doctors, the nurses, the administrative staff, the janitors, everyone who works in hospitals, doctor's offices, ambulances, first responders. I'm also talking about those people who have had to work through this crisis so that we can all quarantine. I'm talking about people who work in restaurants, food delivery people, uh, people who work in food banks. The list goes on and on. There are so many Americans who are putting themselves at risk so that we can weather this storm and we do appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. So we dedicate this song to all of you. This is Stardust.
All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're going to do a song now that kind of brings together some of my musical worlds. It's a song from the Benny Goodman oeuvre, uh, written by his second chair trumpet player, Ziggy Elman, with a little help from Johnny Mercer. <clears throat> this is called And the Angels Sing, and it brings that klezmer influence, that Jewish influence, into the swing era, into the Benny Goodman organization. We're going to do our best to kind of replicate the big band arrangement with just us four lonesome individuals. Okay. Yeah. One, two, oh, one, two, three, oh! <laughs> Thank you so much, and thank you all to everyone who's tuning in, everyone who's liked, 
everyone who's commented, and especially to everyone who shared, and if anyone has been able to make a donation to help support these musicians and this wonderful uh, music series here at Blue House Productions, uh, we do greatly appreciate that as well. Uh, the donation information should be somewhere in or near your video, PayPal or Venmo, so we do appreciate it. But again, we understand not everyone is able, uh, in a position to do that in times like these, and that's quite all right, and we still want you to watch and enjoy our performance. So we're going to continue now with a more of an obscure tune, but that's really become a favorite of mine. It was uh, written by the great fusion keyboardist Joe Zawinul, but early in his career when he was with the Cannonball Adderley Quintet. This is a song called Walk Tall, something I know a lot about. Two, one, two, three, four! <laughs> Thank you. 
that's Wes Crawford on the drums. Wes Crawford. Oh my goodness. All right. We got time for two more songs. Before we play this penultimate selection, uh, I do want to say that if you have not already previously uh, heard us play, please connect with us further online. Uh, again, my name is Seth Kybel, and one of the nice things about having a slightly unusual name is I'm really easy to track down online. You can find me on the Facegram, the Twit book, the Insta chat, all that stuff. I'm everywhere. Uh, the only other Seth Kybel in the world is like a 21-year-old med student in Toronto. Please don't bother him. Uh, but other than that, if you find a Seth Kybel online, chances it's me. You can also go to SethKybel.com. And we are here at Blue House Productions, this wonderful video and audio production facility in Kensington, Maryland. If you haven't already liked the COVID sessions live at Blue House Facebook page, please do so, because then you can find out about all the other great quarantini concerts. Uh, that are coming up in the near future, including uh, on May 31st, the Eric Bird Trio. Make sure to tune into them. I know Marcus Johnson is coming in, Todd Marcus is coming in, uh, Chris Grasso keeps bringing these great artists in here. Uh, there's just a fabulous parade of musicians uh, broadcasting from this fine studio into the comfort of your own home. All right, for our next to last tune, we're going to do a little more klezmer. Slanta. Did I do that right? Yeah, yeah. Cheers.
ladies and gentlemen, we are going to do one more song before we wrap up this stream, but I got to say a couple of things first. First of all, thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it, and I haven't gotten a chance to look at all the comments yet. I will do that after the fact, but I really appreciate everyone commenting, liking, sharing, all that good stuff. If you are so fortunate that you've been able to make a small donation via the pen pal or Venmo link, we really appreciate that as well. And uh, do keep in mind that this stream will still be viewable and shareable uh, shortly after we're done. I think there's a little bit of processing time after we're done, but after that, uh, within an hour or so, it should be up on Facebook and YouTube uh, as archived footage. So you can still send it to your friends, you can watch it a gazillion times, you can memorize my complex rehearsed choreography to your heart's content. Uh, we'd like to once again say a big thanks to Jeff Gruber and Daniel Mears who are behind the glass. It's like, I feel like I'm at an aquarium because they're, they're back there. Yeah, they're swimming right now. They're back there behind the glass while we're here in this room with the cameras. Um, let me once again introduce the members of the band, no particular order. On the bass, give it up for Bob Abbott. Yes. On <laughs> drums, Wes Crawford. Yes. On piano, Sean Lane. My name is Seth Keibel. Thank you again. Look me up on the interwebs. Before I play this last song, I want to thank you all again, and I want to just send my heartfelt wish that everyone stays safe healthy and relatively sane in these difficult times. Look, I know we've all got quarantine fatigue. Lord knows I do. I want nothing more than for things to get back to normal. And I know a lot of people's livelihoods are dependent on it. But we gotta be careful. We've gotta listen to the experts. We've gotta listen to the doctors. We've gotta do what we need to do to really lick this coronavirus thing. That's a really bad choice of phrase there. I'm sorry, that went in the wrong direction. We've got to do what we've got to do to put this behind us. And that may mean, in many places, quarantining for longer and continuing to do social distancing and stay at home and work from home and school from home. And I know it's tough and I know we're all sick, sick of doing it, uh, but we got to listen to the experts and do what we got to do. And if we all stick together, and support each other, we can make it through this and be stronger on the other side. All right, in that spirit, we're gonna do a, a wonderful song as our closing song. Now, I hesitated to put this on the set list because a few months ago, when all this stuff started, a group of well-intentioned but tone-deaf, in every sense of the word, uh, a group of well-intentioned but tone-deaf celebrities did a video of this song. Uh, in an attempt to uh, <laughs> raise all of our collected spirits. And it was uh, immediately and rightfully, dare I say, mocked mercilessly online. And for a while, I think that put a little bit of a, a bad taste on this song. But, but Sean Lane worked up a beautiful arrangement of this tune a number of years ago. We recorded it on one of his albums, uh, Run Into Riverside. Yes, it's on the Run Into Riverside album. And it's just such a great arrangement that I am hopeful that Sean's arrangement, with our help, can redeem this song from the likes of Gal Gadot and all her well-intentioned celebrity brethren. So we leave you with John Legend's Imagined, and we hope to see you all soon. Did I say John Legend? John Lennon. John, not John Legend. John Lennon, my apologies. Uh, I'll field the phone calls from the lawyers in the morning.
Thank you very much. We'll see you soon.